Hey, Kaylin here. Welcome back to Caitlin's Poor Corner. So, I really miss doing Book Monday. I don't really have any sort of schedule anymore because, you know, I am so busy right now with moving and everything. I just can't really stick to a schedule right now. But I love reading, you guys. I am a big reader. <clears throat> um, and I wanted to do some more of these videos. So, today we're going to be reading a classic. Um... Um, just a little warning, this might be a longer video. This is a picture book, but it is a longer version of it, I guess. It's pretty detailed. Um, but here it is. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. <clears throat> a little funny story for you guys. I actually keep on buying it thinking that I don't have it. And I have it in like two chapter books and I have like two picture books of it. But whatever, it's fine. I mean, you can never have too many books. Um, but so... Yeah, I don't see an author on here. It just says Hitler Books LTD. But this is part of the collection. There's also um, a Little Red Riding Hood, Sleeping Beauty, and Snow White, I guess. So that's pretty cool. And I love the cover. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. And I love the illustrations, too. I'm going to actually read it and then I'll show you guys the picture. Alice in Wonderland. <clears throat> One day after a long walk in the countryside, Alice, while her sister was off cooking flowers, lay down at the foot of a tree and dozed off. As she was dozing, a white rabbit ran by at full speed, muttering, I'll be late. It's very glossy, you guys. She looks very fancy. I love the little sunshine. That's how I draw my sons, you guys, with little faces on them. Okay. Alice spoke with a start, amazed not just that the rabbit could talk, but also that he was elegantly dressed and had a watch. He looks terribly busy, the girl thought. At a certain spot, a smiling flower said hello. The rabbit stopped and ducked into a hole in the ground. In the ground. Sorry. Hole in the ground. He has a face in this world. Without hesitating, Alice followed him. Once she stepped into the big hole, Alice felt herself falling down a deep shaft. But without speeding up, indeed, it felt like flying. The shaft was endless, and she couldn't make it out the bottom. She looked around and saw pictures hanging on the walls, as well as, well as various niches with things in them. Meanwhile, Alice kept descending and thought, I do believe my cat Dinah will miss me tonight. All of a sudden, she landed softly on a pile of branches and dry leaves. Her descent was over. There's lots of cool things in that, you guys. Got some books, and let's see here. There's like a little candle, some more books, a mirror. She found herself in the middle of a large room with many doors. She tried opening one, but told her, You can't come in. You're too big. On top of the table she saw she saw she saw next to a gold key a little bottle labeled drink me. Alice checked it that it didn't say poison elsewhere on the bottle and then drank it in one gulp. What good syrup this is, thought Alice. Then she realized she had shrunk to the size of a mouse. Oh no, I left the key on the table. Now how will I get it? <clears throat> on the floor she spotted a box of biscuits labeled Eat Me. She tried one and began to grow so fast that her head almost hit the ceiling. At the height, poor Alice certainly couldn't get through the door. I wish we could see her when she was tiny. That would be so funny. She sat down and began to cry, gushing tears by the leader. A moment later, when the white rabbit went by, alarmed, he dropped a fan before making off at high speed. Alice picked it up and began fanning herself. And guess what? To her astonishment, she shrank back down. She soon realized that it was the fan that she was holding in her hand that, made, that had made her shrink again, and quickly dropped it so she didn't ruin the risk of disappear, run the risk of disappearing completely. Meanwhile, her foot had slipped and she was sitting in the water. She realized that she was in the puddle of tears that she had shed when she was big. So now what will I do? It wasn't long before she heard the sound of distant footsteps.
She got up out of the puddle and headed in the direction of the noise. She ended up in front of a pretty little cottage. The white rabbit was leaning out the window shouting, Marine, the glove, the fan, I can't keep the duchess waiting. Alice realized that the rabbit had mistaken her for his housemaid. She went inside to look for the gloves but saw a little flask. She took a sip and, op and started growing and growing. What's happening to me? cried Alice. The house had become too small for her. She was trapped. The white rabbit was annoyed. He was waiting for the gloves and the fans, but they didn't arrive. Hearing a mighty racket, he ripped around and saw that Alice was trapped. The situation wasn't good. Then Alice heard, a handful will do, and felt cupcakes hitting her face. Alice ate one and immediately started drinking again. As soon as she was small enough to fit through the door, she left with the cot. She left the cottage and headed for the nearby forest. So I forgot to run on and my sister downstairs. Alice saw an enormous toadstool on which there lay a big, fat, sleepy-looking green caterpillar smoking calmly. It's not good to smoke, you guys. Why isn't it no caterpillar still? That's kind of weird. And who might you be? He asked in a drowsy voice. I don't even know myself anymore. Since this morning, I've kept changing size. I want to be big again, she sighed. One, of the, one side of the toadstool will make you grow, and the other will make you shrink. Help yourself, said the caterpillar, crawling away. Alice broke off two pieces of toadstool and nibbled, nibbled on one. Luckily, it was from the right side, and she went back to normal size. Here he is. He looks so funny. <laughs> a moment later, she noticed that a cat curled. A moment later, she noticed a cat curled up on the branch of her tree. Hello, she said, surprised. Who are you? I'm the Cheshire Cat, the animal replied, grinning. Mr. Cat, which way should I go to get out of here? Alice asked. Whichever direction you take will be the right one. The cat replied with a wide smile. There the cat lifted his paw and pointed, looked the Mad Hatter, and on the other side the March chair. Go and see whichever one you like. They're quite mad. And with that, he vanished. Alice was getting so used to strange things happening in this particular land that she wasn't surprised when the cat suddenly vanished. She set off again, and it wasn't long before she came upon a house with chimneys in the shape of long ears. It was the March Hare's house. Alice took a bit bite of the remaining piece of toast tool and shrank enough to go inside. The March Hare was having tea with the Mad Hatter and the Dormouse, who was having a nap. Please, have some wine, said Hatter to Alice. I don't drink wine, she exclaimed. Actually, there isn't, a reply. There isn't any reply to Hatter. Alice thought, they really are mad, and slipped away. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, we don't have any. <sighs> Cautiously, she headed into the forest where she saw an enormous rose bush full of white flowers. Some gardening elves were painting them red and muttering. We were, we were meant to paint, plant the red roses here, not white ones. If the Queen of Hearts finds out, she'll have our heads. As soon as they saw Alice, they ran off. The girl took a paintbrush and a tin of paint and began coloring in the flowers. A short time later, she heard, The Queen is coming! Almost dropped it. <coughs> the royal procession, procession stopped right in front of Alice. So sorry, guys. I'm not the best with some words. The courtiers? Court? 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 Go, go, go. Let's go down in the comments what this word is because I can just. I, I, I don't know, you guys. I'm so sorry. Had uniforms decorated with symbols and flat bodies to which their arms and legs attached. What is your name? demanded the queen. Alice, the girl mumbled. Off with their head, ordered the queen. That's ridiculous. 
cut out family. <laughs> The Queen of Hearts was speechless at this imperson. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Then she went off to court. Prepare for a trial. Alice had never been at a trial before, but she had read lots of books. She recognized the white rabbit who was holding a scroll of parchment in his hand. The Queen ordered, Proceed with charges. The white rabbit unrolled the Scroll and began reading. First, we will hear the testimony. Here's the queen. She does not look so happy, does she? Well, well, pause the video and let me know down in the comments what you think is going to happen to Alice. But the queen of hearts exploded with rage. The jurors are issued a guilty verdict immediately. Chaos gained on the room in the courtroom and there was much shouting filled with indignation at a trial where she didn't even know what she'd been accused of. Alice jumped her feet. What nonsense she exclaimed. I'm sleepy, sorry. The Queen ordered, Off with her head The guards rushed towards Alice who in the meantime was returning to normal size. But who's to say I should obey you? You're no more than a pack of cards, she exclaimed. With the cards scattered falling into Alice, who, panicking slightly, tried to get them off of her. Gosh, there's some words in this book, you guys. I haven't read this one in a while. She needn't... She needn't have bothered, as her sister was already busy picking off the leaves that had fallen from the tree. Indeed, it was the leaves... These leaves, which Alice, having arrived at the end of her amazing dream, had mistaken in sleep for playing cards. What a good sleep you had, you've had, her sister was saying. Her sister had no idea. You can just not seem to talk today, you guys. Alice sat up, rubbing her eyes, and found herself under the tree. In the middle of the countryside, she began telling her sister about all the extraordinary characters she'd met in the strange wonderland. And who knows, maybe there really is a white rabbit. So you guys, that was the end of this like story time, I guess you could say. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more book videos, because I haven't done one in a while. I don't know when the last one was. I think it was around... January or something or February but yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed remember that I love you guys so so much and please please subscribe we're at 49 subscribers when I'm making this video and I'm really trying to get to 50 so please please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed if you did not enjoy just give us a thumbs down I guess and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye love you